afternoon. We're in the Granny's Legacy Patterns Sewing Studio today, and it's a cold, damp day in Minnesota, so it's a great day to learn something new. And today we're going to talk about sewing with Valdani size 12 pearl cotton on your sewing machine. So we've got our sewing machine set up. We've got the pearl cotton running through. We have changed the setting for the bobbin thread so that it comes up just a little bit. So instead of having it on the normal about four, we're gonna change it to up till five. That will pull the bobbin thread up just a hair. We've got the machine threaded normally. However, we've got a very large size 16 needle in the, th in the machine. Straight stitch we're going to be showing today. We've got our machine set up so that we have a little bit longer than normal stitch, about 2.9. And I'm also using the needle down position. Now, um, we like to do that if we're gonna do anything that has any turns or curves so that the machine stays put. This is what we're gonna be showing today. This is our new plume. And you can see that it's a peacock feather. This is going to be sewn into a pillow a round, bolster round tube bolster pillow. We also will have a pattern that has an oval mat and also placemats. So this happens to be our placemat pattern. And we've got the plume drawn out on there. And we haven't done, we've only fused the eye of the peacock feather. It's all fused down. This is a lovely velvet that Woolly Mammoth has dyed to match the four different colors of wool we're going to be using on this peacock feather. Now we've marked all of our plumes out with a Bowen white iron off marker. It's a wonderful marker. If you do not like what you've drawn, you can just simply touch it with a warm iron and it's gone and start all over again. So on these stitching, I'm going to begin and I'll just go down, pivot and come back out and then I'll leave my threads and pull my threads to the back later. So I'll begin here on the sewing machine. So again, I've got a large size needle, size 16. 14, if you can't find a 16, will work also. It's just a little bit harder to thread. I've got the needle length, or the thread, the stitch length lengthened a little bit to 2.9, and I'm going to be using my needle down position. So I'm going to be starting right here on my plume and I'll use it as my the white mark as my guide and it just stitch real simply and then turn turn as you pivot. And if you've got a knee lift, this is a great use of your knee lift. So I come down to the very point that I want to be pivoting and then I'm going to pivot and come back out again. And by doing this, I'm having less ends to pull to the back. And you can see that by bringing that thread up a little bit from the bobbin, I have chosen to use a black thread in the bobbin simply because I'm on a black piece. However, you could use a blue or a green that would match your thread too. So now I simply have, am going to take this and snip my threads and then I'll be able to show you what I've stitched here. And I'll be able to pull those threads to the back simply by taking and grabbing hold of that and pulling it through to the back. And you can put a knot in those if you're gonna be using a fusible applique on the back. I think you could just leave your threads and not knot them in the fusible. will um, just simply catch those and, and lock them in place. So I'll do another one and I just keep going and doing all my feathers. It's so simple and so easy. So I just pivot and turn and follow my white marks. And if it seems like your machine is pushing a little bit on your wool, you could lighten the pressure a little bit on the end so there's not quite so much pressure on your machine, on your needle, and it'll follow a little easier. And if you think that the bobbin thread is coming up too far, you could 
move that down so it's more at less than five. You just need to play with your machine a little bit until you get just the right about the bobbin coming up. Now, if you don't want the, the Valdani thread to be coming through showing on the back. You want only the bobbin thread. And you can see that I don't have any loops of the thread here showing through on the back. So this is perfect how I would like to see it. And I'll just take and pull these back through to the back and either knot them or leave them if I'm going to be using a feasible applique. But I'll just keep on continuing through all these feathers with this lovely variegated Baldani Pearl Cotton size 12. And you can see the finished project will look like this. And we've used, this is a V16, I believe, the color number V15. And this is one of the M's. So you can get some lovely variegations with the Baldani Pearl Cottons. So thank you for joining us in the studio today at Granny's Legacy Patterns. Happy sewing.